For the division in the Israel Navy, see Naval Intelligence Division Israel. The Naval Intelligence Division NID was created as a component part of the Admiralty War Staff in 1912. It was the intelligence arm of the British Admiralty before the establishment of a unified defense intelligence staff in 1964. It dealt with matters concerning British naval plans, with the collection of naval intelligence. It was also known as Room 39, after its room number at the Admiralty. History The Foreign Intelligence Committee was established in 1882 and it evolved into the Naval Intelligence Department in 1887. The NID staff were originally responsible for fleet mobilization and war plans as well as foreign intelligence collection. Thus in the beginning there were originally two divisions, one intelligence, foreign and two mobilization. In 1900 another division, War, was added to deal with issues of strategy and defense, and in 1902 a fourth division, Trade, was created for matters related to the protection of merchant shipping. The Trade Division was abolished in October 1909 in the wake of the Committee of Imperial Defense Inquiry into the feud between the First Sea Lord, Admiral Sir John Fisher and former Commander-in-Chief Channel Fleet, Admiral Lord Charles Beresford, when it was discovered that the captain heading the Trade Division had been supplying the latter with confidential information during the inquiry. In 1910, the NID was shorn of its responsibility for war planning and strategy when the outgoing Fisher created the Navy War Council is a stopgap remedy to criticisms emanating from the Beresford inquiry that the Navy needed a naval staff a role the NID had been in fact fulfilling since at least 1900, if not earlier. After this reorganization, war planning and strategic matters were transferred to the newly created Naval Mobilization Department and the NID reverted to the position it held prior to 1887. An intelligence collection and collation organization. In 1912, the division was established as a component part of the new Admiralty War Staff Organization. When that body was abolished in 1917, it continued as a division of the new Admiralty Naval Staff until 1964 when the Admiralty Department was abolished. <laughs> World War I During World War I the NID was responsible for the Royal Navy's highly successful cryptographic efforts, Room 40. The interception and decoding of the Zimmerman telegram played a role in bringing the United States into the war. It has described as the most significant intelligence triumph for Britain during World War I, and one of the first occasions on which a piece of signals intelligence influenced world events. Topic. World War II Naval Ultra messages were handled differently from Army and Air Force Ultra because the Admiralty was an operational HQ and could give orders during a battle, while the Imperial General Staff Army and Air Staff would give commanders general orders such as, "...clear the enemy out of Africa," without telling them how to do it. Hence verbatim translations of naval decodes were sent by HUT-4 to the NID and nowhere else except for some naval intelligence sent directly from Bletchley Park to Commanders-in-Chief in the Mediterranean, HUT-8 which decrypted Enigma messages for HUT-4 to translate and analyze had less information for Ultra as the Kriegsmarine operated Enigma more securely than the German Army and Air Force. HUT 4 also broke various hand ciphers and some Italian naval traffic. The NID also initiated the 30th Assault Unit, whose role was information gathering, reconnaissance, and sabotage. Members of the unit, including Ralph Izzard, are acknowledged as inspirations for Ian Fleming, who also worked for the NID, in the creation of his fictional spy, James Bond. Topic. Geographical section 
The geographical section of the Naval Intelligence Division, Naval Staff, Admiralty, produced a series of geographical handbooks from 1917 to 1922 to provide information for the British Armed Forces. The Naval Intelligence Division Geographical Handbook series was produced between 1941 and 1946 to provide information for the British Armed Forces. Topic amalgamation In 1965, the three service intelligence departments were amalgamated in the new Defence Intelligence Service at the Ministry of Defence. However, well before the mid 1990s, another Royal Naval branch existed, namely the Directorate of Naval Security and Integrated Contingency Planning, which is based at Home Naval Base Portsmouth under the Staff Command of the Second Sea Lord and Sea in Sea Naval Home Command. Topic: Directors of Naval Intelligence. Directors of Naval Intelligence included Captain Thomas Jackson, 1912–1913; Rear Admiral Henry Oliver, 1913–1914; Rear Admiral Sir Reginald Blinker Hall, 1914–1919. Rear Admiral Hugh Quex Sinclair, 1919 to 1921. Rear Admiral Morris Fitzmorris, 1921 to 1924. Rear Admiral Alan Hutham, 1924 to 1927. Rear Admiral William Fisher, acting, 1926-1927. Rear Admiral Barry Domville, 1927 to 1930. Rear Admiral Cecil Usborne, 1930 to 1932. Rear Admiral Gerald Dickens, 1932 to 1935. Vice Admiral James Troop, 1935 to 1939. Vice Admiral John Godfrey, 1939 to 1942. Rear Admiral Edmund Rushbrook, 1942 to 1946. Vice Admiral Edward Parry, 1946 to 1948. Rear Admiral Eric Longley Cook, 1948 to 1951. Rear Admiral Sir Anthony Buzzard, 1951 to 1954. Vice Admiral Sir John Inglis, 1954 to 1960. Vice Admiral Sir Norman Denning, 1960 to 1964. Rear Admiral Patrick Graham, 1964–1965 Topic: <inaudible> Deputy Directors of Naval Intelligence Deputy Directors of Naval Intelligence included Captain Raymond A. Nugent, 1918 – January 1919 Captain William M. James, January 1919 to March 1920. Captain Geoffrey Hopwood, March 1920 to April 1922. Captain Edward O. Cochran, April 1922 to August 1923. Captain George K. Chetwood, August 1923 to May 1925. Captain Kenneth G. B. Dewar, May 1925 to June 1927. Captain Cecil B. Prickett, June 1927 to June 1929. Captain Alfred E. Evans, June 1929 to April 1930. Captain Gerald C. Harrison, April 1930 to April 1932. Captain W. E. Campbell Tate, April 1932 to November 1933. Captain George A. Scott, November 1933 to December 1935. Captain the Honorable Claude P. Herman Hodge, December 1935 to February 1938. Captain Jeffrey C. Cook, February 1938 to February 1940. Captain William D. Stevens, February 1940 to January 1941. Captain Ian M. R. Campbell, February 1941 to April 1942. Captain Charles A. G. Nichols, April 1942 to May 1944. Captain Ian M. R. Campbell, May 1944-1945. 
Captain A. Joe Baker Cresswell, March 1948 to March 1951. Captain Thomas J. N. Hilken, March 1951 to November 1953. Captain Charles E. Keyes, November 1953 to January 1956. Captain George F. M. Best, January 1956 to January 1958. Captain Nigel H. G. Austin, January 1958 to September 1959. Captain Anthony Davies, September 1959 to October 1962. Captain William P. B. Barber, October 1962 to 1965. Topic. See also. Ian Fleming, who worked as a personal assistant to DNI, then Captain John Godfrey. Ralph Izzard author, adventurer, journalist, NID officer, member of the 30 Assault Unit and noted as an inspiration for James Bond. Merlin Minshall, who worked for Fleming in the NID, participated in several operations and has been claimed as one of the inspirations for James Bond. William Milbourne James, W.R. Hall's biographer. Ewan Montagu, who executed one of its best-known operations. John Pertwee, who worked alongside Fleming in the NID during World War II. Patrick Dalzell Job Inspirations for James Bond <laughs>